How's it going? Yeah. Good. How are you? Oh, great. Thanks. Uh, I'm a little unprepared tonight. Uh, a little under the weather. I would have typed up my notes, but my laptop's a little out of uh, a little out of order. I think I got a computer virus, probably from all those uh, Christian websites I've been visiting. <laughs> www.jesuslovesyoufrombehind.com <laughs> Speaking of police lineups, uh, I was wondering, uh, am I a loser because I was always picked last in dodgeball, or because I'm always picked first out of a lineup? <laughs> Anyone here use Netflix? Yeah! Woo. I love Netflix. Uh, I don't even use cable anymore. For any of these who don't know uh, or are familiar with Netflix, it's an internet site that you can watch movies and TV shows on. It keeps track of what you watch and suggests similar types of shows and movies. The only problem is I share my account with my family. So between my mom watching chick flicks, my brother's cartoons, Netflix pretty much thinks I'm a gay six-year-old child. This <laughs> <laughs> is my suggestion, suggestion column. It's always constantly suggesting movies like Brokeback Mountain, violent Japanese cartoons, and a slew of romantic comedies. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not prepared. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, there you go. Oh, that's the one I was already looking at. So I was eating at this Mexican restaurant a few months ago, and uh, this white lady at the table across from me asked the waitress, do you have a taco salad? Without the taco shell? Yeah, it's called a salad, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so they say that an IQ of 55 or less means you're retarded. It also takes a minimum IQ of 55 to tie your shoelaces. So until your kid ties a shoe for the first time, you just don't know. <laughs> Come on, baby, tie it. Tie it. I don't want to have to take you to the short bus. Come on, please. <laughs> So, uh, popping a couple of Viagra when you're out of lotion is a good way to get an Indian burn. <laughs> <laughs> my weight's been an issue lately, so I've been really pushing myself lately to watch an hour of exercise every morning, whether I want to or not. <laughs> I went on a diet the other day. It lasted till breakfast and took a turn for the worse. <laughs> <laughs> Should have been more prepared. <laughs> Stupid computer. Fucking Christian websites. They got Christian dating sites. What the fuck's that all about? I like to get laid when I go on dates. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if you're buying, I'll go with you. We can go to church later. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll. So, I brought this girl home. The Mexican girl I've been uh, talking to for a while. She was a thick girl. I like being a thick girl. She wasn't bad, but she was pretty thick. And uh, get her in my room, get her top off, looking good, get her pants off, pull back that underwear. Well, it was like. <laughs> and then as soon as I pulled back, boom, I was like, oh my god. It wasn't just that, that I mean, the hair was long. I was like, <laughs> like long. <laughs> I've never seen long hair like that before. It just was long, but it covered such a vast area, like acreage. <laughs> I, I didn't know what to do with it. It looked like she had a wookie and a fucking laylock. You know? Like she had a member of ZZ Top down between her legs. <laughs> I was like, wow, I was daunted. You know? So, uh, I'm looking around. I can't find the vagina anywhere. I know it's in there. I'm pretty sure. I mean, she could be hiding a penis and all this, but it pretty sure it's a vagina. So I'm digging around, and like, it's just not happening. I'm about to go to the bathroom and get a comb and put a heart in that shit, you know? I think Moses couldn't have part this hair. <laughs> so you know, I've been planning on giving her a little mouth pleasure, but I just don't know. Finally, I find that shit, and you know, this, it looks like a, I just got a long beard. I think going down on her would have been like, Making out with Santa Claus after eating a tuna sandwich. <laughs> yeah, I'm still willing to do it, but I don't know. So I finally get it. I'm like, and she stops. She's like, you know, I'm not really into that. I'm like, shit, cool with me. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> so we just do a radio style, and it was still tough because 
She had a lot of hair on. My penis got all snagged up on the way in. And, <laughs> uh, Minnesota girls. <laughs> oh, it is cold over there. <laughs> when I was a child, and I'd lose a tooth, I would absolutely refuse to put it under my pillow. It wasn't that I did not believe in the tooth fairy, in fact, quite the opposite. I had heard plenty about the tooth fairy, and none of it, none of it had led me to believe with absolute certainty that the tooth fairy was in fact a woman. Even a small amount of uncertainty about the tooth fairy's actual gender was quite disconcerting to me. If he was in fact a man, I did not feel it was in my best interest as a six-year-old boy to invite a strange man into my room at night while I'm asleep. <laughs> Especially when that strange man has a name like Tooth Fairy. <laughs> For all I know, Tooth Fairy might be just his working name. At home and around town, they might call him the Penis Fairy. <laughs> I did not want to wake up with a sore butt and a quarter under my pillow. <laughs> all week, thank you. Uh, one more. Before I go, uh, I tell you about my grandpa. I lost him recently in a... Uh, uh, a little tribute to him. Keep his memory alive. My fondest memory is of the day my grandpa died. I remember it like it was yesterday, but actually it was a month ago. He set himself on fire. He's always doing silly things like that. <laughs> grandpa was uh, siphoning gas from a car parked in a handicapped space because he likes sticking it to the privilege class. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, gra Grandpa was having one of his senior moments when he forgot to take the cigarette out of his mouth before sucking on the gas hose. Grandpa went up like the 4th of July. Grandpa could recite all the president's order and their years in office. He could remember every final score of every game that his beloved Cardinals ever played. And he could remember where he was and exactly what he was doing during every major event during his lifetime. But he couldn't remember to stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> Instead, he ran around screaming obscenities as the flames grew larger and larger. He was beautiful. <laughs> I had to look up some of the things he said on the internet. I'm not as well traveled as him. What I remember most was at the end when Grandpa stopped running around and lay smoldering on the ground. The skin had a nice char and smelled like sweet jerky. He looked me in the eyes and said, Arthur, I just shit all out my ass and the zipper is hot against my balls. I know, Grandpa. I know. Go to sleep now. <laughs> that was a fun day. Thank you. Oh, you got that from my captain, this. Mm -hmm.